Greetings, YouTube. I've been working on my anger issues for a couple of decades now, most actively over the last five or six years. And one of the things I've recently discovered is that while my reactions are anger, a lot of the time, the triggering event is not something that it in and of itself is anger inducing what it is is frustration so i get frustrated by something real or imagined because there are real things in life that are frustrating and then i respond with anger so right now i'm in the process of kind of kind of trying to pull those apart trying to figure out which things are frustration, real or imagined, and I would then have to work on pulling those apart as well, and which are things that are generally worth being angry over. Because anger gets shit done. There are times that anger is, in fact, the appropriate response to a situation. And that's completely acceptable. Nazis? Anger is the appropriate right uh, response. Pretty much anything that the shit gibbon says or does, anger is the, pro the appropriate response. Anyone wearing a All Lives Matter shirt, anger is the appropriate response. But your cat won't get out of your way, or your computer at work won't work the way it won't function that day, or you go to print something and the only printer on your floor is not functioning. Those are situations of frustration, real frustration, real world frustration. Those are not imaginary bits of frustration. Sorry, there's cat hair everywhere in my house. Um, and the problem is, I don't, I don't know how to react to frustration. I don't know what to do with it. My first and last response to frustration is anger. But I don't want to be angry unless it's necessary. So I need to find out what is the appropriate response to frustration. I don't know what it is. I was not raised to understand that there was a difference between frustration and anger. Understand that there was pos the possibility of reacting in something, some manner other than anger when you were frustrated. So at 54, I now have to figure out how do I react to frustration? I'm still working on that, just like I'm still working on trying to figure out how to separate these anger and frustration from each other. But in the process of getting to where I am now in this conversation here with you, um, in the conversation I had with my therapist last week, I came to realize that for me, even though I'm an American, English isn't my first language. Anger is my first language. Because I learned anger before words were even a concept. I learned anger at the pre-literate stage of development. Because my father was ill-suited to be a parent. He shouldn't have been a parent. Nor, for that matter, should my mother have been a parent. Neither of them was qualified in any way, shape, or form. Um, they were both coming, they both came from dysfunctional families. So they had no backgrounds in seeing a healthy environment around children and, and children and, and engaging with children. One was a hyper strict Catholic family and the other was uh, an abusive alcoholic and his enabling wife. Which my parents became abusive alcoholic and an enabling wife. And the circle came around again, except now I'm not an alcoholic. And my wife is not an enabler. I decided I didn't want to be one of those. Abusive or alcoholic. Either one.
and it's, I think it's clever way of putting it into a narrative focus that anger is my first language. And yes, I, I'm, I actually think it's quite clever and it made me smile when I thought about it, even at the same time, it kind of somewhat was devastating because the, the realization that I never had a fucking chance. Never did I have a chance as a kid. Now as an adult, I have a chance. And maybe if I had had a good therapist in my teen years, as opposed to the crap therapist that my, my mother took me to, um, whose sole purpose was to put me on a drug at, the, at, a, at a, a dosage that was way out of bounds for what I needed. Um, maybe I would have gotten further along the path than I am now, but I'm still on the path. And at least I figured out some of this on my own, along with the help of my, my therapist. But my therapist doesn't lead you by your nose. And he likes the fact that I work on things when I'm not around. He's got clients that only work on their problems when they're in the office. Hint, they don't get far fast. I work on things between sessions all the time. He says that I that I will show up, you know, once a month with three months worth of stuff to talk about and three months worth of progress in my in my pocket. Sometimes literally because I keep notes in my back pocket. Because I try. Because I put effort into it. Because I want to be better and happier. And I want to not be as angry. Um, so, narrative, clever narrative structure. Anger is my first language. And it's good to know that I need to figure out how to respond to frustration in some manner other than anger. I just, I just don't know what that is. If anyone out there has a suggestion how they respond to frustration, I would be very much welcomed uh, and, and I would be very open to hearing about it because maybe if I can hear enough examples from other people, that will help point me in the direction of where I need to go. So I'm not saying that other people's solutions will necessarily solve my problem, but at least they may give me a, 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 an ability to at least define what I don't want through the negative, if nothing else. Because frankly, I'm kind of in the dark on this one. I literally don't know what I should be doing when I'm frustrated. Um, let's hear it for bad parenting. Woo bad parenting. So thanks for being here. And I hope that you today are not frustrated nor angry. <laughs>